Good morning, my name is Chris Fox, and I am already behind on words, so uh, we're going to jump into the video. I will show you where I'm at. We've added a little additional tracking to the spreadsheet, so I know, you know, am I on schedule, behind schedule, ahead of schedule, and as it turns out, it's a little behind schedule, so today is the day where I catch up. Uh, anyway, let's jump into the video. Okay, as you can see, um, it's a little bit before 6 a.m. I have been mostly working out this morning. I have not done any words yet this morning, but I wanted to get a quick snapshot um, to show some changes to the spreadsheet and that I'm already in the red. So what I've done is you can see my goal here is this is where I need to be at today in terms of total words uh, in order to finish on time for the year. So by the end of the day, I need 49,320 words. That means that I'm 3,083 words behind. So if I can't add those words, then that'll just keep mounting. Um, I added that for obvious reasons because, you know, what can't be tracked um, can't be improved. If I don't know where I'm at, then I'm, I'm not going to be able to make sure that I hit my words. So I modified the sheet accordingly, added that on there. Um, things have been going pretty well, but one of the problems that I run into, which we've already discussed, is the Magitech Chronicles role-playing game is much harder to write. So 3,000 words uh, is a long day for that. And yesterday, um, Sunday, I only got 2,000 words. So, you know, definitely behind schedule working on that. Um, today, because I don't have clear work to do for the role-playing game, uh, I am going to do the edit on Bert. So that means that I'm basically just going to read the book, which will take me a couple hours. And the rest of the day, I'm going to jump into fantasy just to get some words down because this number not going up is terrifying to me. So um, the problem that we often run into, I think, is um, when you finish a book, the gap of time between the end of the first book and the beginning of the second book, I lose so much productive time. And so the goal is to minimize that. Um, anyway, uh, we'll check in at the end of the day today. You'll see how many words I get down on Shattered Gods. I will also talk very briefly about the final edit on Bert. Um, let's jump into that. Okay, so I just wanted to show what a novel looks like before I finish my final edit. Um, what I've done is look at the three emails that Lisa sent me um, with her notes on what needs to be corrected in the book. I've added a placeholder to each of the chapters in question. So for example, chapter 18, um, uh, she's giving me little notes about things that need to be changed or clarified. So I'm going to go through today, I'm going to read the entire book, I'm going to add more description, and I'm going to process each of her suggested changes. Um, and some of them I'll decide to keep, some of them I may not, most of them I do. But by the end of the day, all these little placeholders will be gone, this will be my very final edit on the book, the last time I see it before publication. Um, so it is 6.54 a.m., um, again, I've processed the edits, I've thought about what needs to be done, so now it's just a matter of sit down and read. And I have to go in the house in a few minutes and watch Kaylin, so I won't start that until probably like 8.15 to 8.30 whenever I get back out here. But then from then until 11, um, I'll put on some music, tune out the entire world, and just read this book uh, and see whatever final improvements I can do. So we'll, we'll get a quick snapshot uh, at the end of the day, you can see how it turned out. Um, odds are really good. All you're going to see is the nose have disappeared and the rest of it looks the same. <laughs> uh, let's see how long this takes me. Okay, I'm going to jump into it. Oh my god, I am so tired. It is about 4 o'clock. Um, as you can see, I have basically finished my edits. I have a couple more chapters to, to do, but I have to head out of the house here in a minute, so I'm going to leave chapter 31 through 35. Um, to read when I come back out at like six o'clock or so. So that'll be the last thing I have to do uh, on the book and then I'll close it. Um, but that's actually not how I spent most of my day. I did spend a few hours reading Bert, but um, I've been worried about the, the word count. So uh, yeah, I cranked today. My worry was when I started this morning, as you saw in the video, um, I'm already behind and that's not cool. Um, also, I saw a friend of mine, Rick Partlow, posted on Facebook on the 16th, today is the 18th, so two days ago, uh, that he's just been cranking 5,000 words a day, every single day, and Rick doesn't take weekends off. So, you know, Rick's at 70,000 words. Uh, so it's like, you know what, I can't fall behind, it's early in the year, I need to get cranking. Um, but my problem is, I don't have a project to crank on, so I don't have BERT3 plotted, uh, so I couldn't really do that. Um, the Magitech 
Chronicles Player's Guide, it's not fiction, so I can't really crank on that the same way. I did um, one bit of, of work on that today, um, but I wanted to write some fiction, so I jumped into the fantasy novel and I cranked out a couple of long chapters uh, and had a lot of fun doing so. So just so I would get some, some publishable words down. Um, anyway, that's how today shaped up. I'm going to head inside to chill with the family and uh, I will come out and edit this video. Um, yeah, I will uh, we'll see you guys on Friday.